We had a slight evaluation on the car again. 91 Corsica. Good runs. 140,000 miles. 100 bucks. The radio works. We have tunes. Air conditioning blowing cold. How's Can't the lose. car air freshener any good? The, you know, the berry patch, it, it's pretty berry smelling, man. It's pretty fucked up. But anyway, we gotta unload this here, Hog. I don't know if you know, I don't know if you guys ever parked in a parking garage or not, but you know, it just got this it's so goddamn tight, you just can't quite fit in here. How's the AC working? AC's nice and cold, man. We got check on the lights. We got landing lights all clear. The dimmers work. Turn signals are broke. And, um, John, this one's for you guys. Midnight Blue Tony in the house. Roadside assistance, 24 hours. 1 800 Chev USA. I think we're going to need that shit today. Take a look at this fine ride. Bet you wish you had a car this nice. Think, man. It Is it doable? I think we can do this one. You think it might be all right? You can adjust the back of the seat, I'm sure, after the minor seat adjustments we had. Notice the slight adjustments on the car. Do we have a dented fender? Eh, what the hell? Got no back bumper? Yeah, it'll live. You ready, Jerry? All right. It looks to me like Jerry needs to back up. Easy repair, tire repair. It's rolling now. Is it rolling now? Feels like it's rolling now. Yeah, Hold on, let's check the damage. Looks like it's still dragging. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we have a catalytic converter. Catalytic converter in the tire. That's not gonna make any effect on what we're doing with it. So okay, go ahead and go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
How to Fix Your Back Tire by Jerry and Mark. It's easy. Get a flat tire. Close your door. It's only flat on the bottom. And it's rolling again. See, ladies and gentlemen, the tire rolls. The tire rolls. Shit about the all-terrain tires for this Never one. about the all-terrain tires. You know, these damn street radials just don't quite cut it. These are the moguls, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. You know, the Chevy Corsica. You know, the Chevy Corsica is what makes an excellent off-road machine. To be able to take... I mean, look, man. You know, this, the hole's the size of a car. She did all right to the last mogul. Well, I see you aired down the tire. <laughs> I see you aired down the tires for extra traction too. That's it, the chicken plucker. The chicken plucker against the Corsica. Who do you think is going to win? Remember, we smash nicer shit than you drive. Don't ever forget that. Or we'll come for your shit. Oh, I got of water out. I got some of the water out. I don't know how much more. It's in here, but... Wow, recliners. Is those factory or what? Yeah. Captain's shirt, sure, man. Swivel, too? This car looks pretty fresh. What year is it? Oh, 2002. You know, just a typical old beater. Hey, do they know you're out on a test drive, or...? No, they really don't. I borrowed from the dealership this week, man. I don't want to take a 
bad I'm a bugger because I do kind of still want to race it once. You're clear. Hey, what the hell did he do to my ride? Great, I can't even open the door now. Now I gotta climb through the windows. God, reminds me of the Dukes of Hazards.
Parker's a little bit warm. <laughs> I told you it'd be fun. Alright, listen up. You know there ain't nothing we do that's normal at Hummer Tough. You get a flat tire, what do you do? You winch it up to the Hummer with a strap, and you raise your car off the ground. Tell me, that ain't hillbilly. Wow. Anybody else here smell gas? Yeah, I think we hit the fuel tank when we went over the concrete blocks here. We'll have to get that one looked at. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We we got a we got a gas leak. Now we got a new tire on there. We're ready to bash some more. All we got to do is let this puppy down and, uh, of course, get her off the concrete blocks. Hey, you guys seen the inside of my truck? It's probably just as messy as the house. There we go. I'm sure you've heard all sorts of weird, crazy things that we do. But uh, how about lamp bowling with cars? Get a good look at the uh, number one pin there. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, yeah, strike. Hey, bro, that was definitely a strike. Oh, yeah, clean kill. Drop it in your demo. Oh, that sounded real good back there. I think we're going to be going through another tire pretty soon. Yeah, probably going to be probably going to be left tire. Let's see what these two crazy guys are doing.
Now that's a good one. This Put goes on our somehow. This goes on our list of don't try this at homes. Yeah, the uh, the ball joint's definitely toast. We'll have to call Napa. Or no, better yet, Scapel. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you I can park this car in the front of that one. Really? Alright. I'm gonna have to shove it back that way a little bit. Alright, well let's uh How the fuck did that happen? I think the number is 1 800 Chev USA. It's on the other side of the car. Can I get some for road side road assistance? Road? My tire came off. So. It just fell right off. Imagine that. That's the drive tire. They just don't make these things like they used to. We need some older vehicles to fuck up. If it's strong ones. Well, damn it. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, my next door is... <laughs> Didn't get any better. Well, I think he's going to be moving his car here right quickly, so uh, let's step back. Oh, nice! Yeah, we never seem to have a surplus of batteries. You just pop something, dude. Radiator. Ah, she's just breathing. Looks like all of our shit's gonna break today. Ah, it'll still run. It's a Mopar. It'll run 300 degrees all day long. Look at another problem we had with the hood last time, Jerry. Yep. What about it? Couldn't get it open last time. Oh, it's right there. Get your plasma cutter. We could winch it off. <laughs> okay, now. <clears throat> You're going to believe this. We're actually thinking about taking and flipping the car over and welding it. <laughs> I know. Sounds stupid. What's that? I said seatbelts. Not just a good idea. Yeah, hey folks, today you're getting an in-camera, or in-truck look at the crazy, stupid stuff we do. Uh, our other camera person is not here today. Hey, you guys ready to go? All right. Oh, hey, don't forget to put it in low lock. And here we go. Taking up the tension. Going over. Just far enough. That's what it looks like from my perspective. Isn't this just like a giant Lego? We can just kind of stick it back together and it'll work. Sometimes. That's in. It's now, in. What we need. Yeah, fuck the ball just popped out. Hmm. We have to pull this back. You got a pry bar? A big screwdriver? I got a big screwdriver. Screw, yeah, one of them. One of them. Okay, what are we doing? We are uh, a ball joint. See, I, I know it's not that we really need steering, but it's nice to get a little bit of horsepower to the wheels. How am I going to push back with it? There's a shot. Go to front and go that way. Okay, see so if you can let her down. Come straight down. Turn the wheel a little bit because it's going to slip it off. CV axle. I think and we're trying to put... It's out of place. It's out. Okay, Hold on. Back up on it. Jerry might need your help on this one. Okay. Hold on. Gotta put the camera down, yeah, guys. Talking. Hey, while they're busy trying to fix the steering and power drive, power train drive on this thing, with big hammers and big screwdrivers, I'm going to give you guys an underside look at what we've done to this car so far. As you can see, a huge section of the exhaust is missing, which is how it should be. We do need to get this out of here before we take this other tire out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. We'll take the tire out. That's what you said. It's just saying, huh? Right. So guys, tell me what you did. 
we see what we did here was the ball joint popped out of the spindle. So we took the rubber boot, shredded her all up like so, jammed the CV axle back on in her. Then we altered the wheel a little bit right here, no jiggled her around, smacked this piece with the hammer, and she went back on in. So now we have steering and it's in position. Let's lower this bitch back down. We eliminated the bearings. Absolutely excellent. Less rotating weight. It should go faster now. Right, so let, let's lower this biatch down. Very gentle. I'm game. Let's go. All right. I'm ready to roll. Okay, watch that strap, guys. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this is about stupid. As soon as we get high enough, it's gonna, the strap's going to catch. It's going to yank the car back this way. It shouldn't. There's no... There's no slop. You want more slop? Yeah. We need a lot more. Otherwise, otherwise the car's going to start to go over, it's going to catch it, it's going to spring right back at us. Okay. I'm Good a way. professional. <laughs> That'd be enough. Enough? How's that? Good enough? Just plenty. We don't want to go all the way over, we want to get it to where it catches. I see that. All right. Keep her. Start rocking her. Oh my God. There it is. Perfect. Wow. Right, Get a picture of that shit. Oh yeah. How you guys like that? <laughs> what is that? Your fucking Rob Lowe pose? <laughs> Here, I'll let you run Fuck, the camera. Fucking GQ. It's already on. We're Sweet. in running. Sweet. Forward, away. Hey, it even looks good as new. Good as new is better. Okay, you know, by eliminating the muffler and the catalytic converter, we possibly have freed up about 15 horsepower. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> For one, I gotta hit it. <laughs> this reminds me of the disc brakes. This is a disc brake trying to go through the fucking You know. Fucking Todd. Always having to make shit difficult. I mean, come on. I did too. In the amount of time it took him to you have to do You fucking cheated. I did the windshield. Hmm. Whoa. Listen to that. Good way, girl. No, you're trying to handle it. Boom. Get in it before he hits it again. <laughs> I think it. It might be that exhaust modification that we did. Yeah, exhaust mod. This is gonna have to be again. The chicken plugger is going to stay running.
I'm gonna attempt to take this fucker down Route 10. <laughs> Think I should do it? <laughs> I've done worse. Uh, as a, uh, I happen to be going down that road too. Uh, I'm not really participating in this, but I could be following you. <laughs> Uh oh, the chicken plucker's running again. She's running strong. <laughs> Alright! Yeah. Sure. Everything's broken! How do I get broken glass on me? They're all busted out! <laughs> Wait, guys. You see this? This one is. Hey, if you're here, you can come break that with us. It's starting to roar. There's no way out of this damn thing. What? There's no way out of this thing. All the windows are bound, or all the doors are bound closed. There's windows, just like the Dukes of Hazard, man. having a team meeting here trying to figure out what's next. Oh, I think Mark got him set up. He's coming after him.
I think there's payback coming for this one. Yeah, you just wait and see. Off before you get out. Jump! Jump onto the hood of the neon. Jump onto the roof. Down the road holding the handles if you'd like. 